Welcome to Palm Beach, Florida. Lamborghinis, boats, high-end restaurants and malls to your blue in the face. In the middle of it all is my salon, Edmund James. In a mere three years, we made this the number one salon in all of Palm Beach. Maybe my New York swagger is shining through, and after 20 years of experience in this business, I like to think I know a thing or two about being a hair boss. Like so many things in my life, the salon is about family. Growing up, that's the only thing I knew, the hair business. When you have a father who's been in this business for over 40 years, it tends to rub off a little bit. Meet my old man Vincenzo. He runs the barbershop. I went to a village barbershop on the age, age 11, and I started to watch what they were doing. I like it. From then on, I kept going, and then finally, a couple of years later, I was cutting hair. That's my brother Mike. He started out as my assistant and worked his way up to salon manager. He makes sure everything runs correctly for our upscale and demanding clients. We gotta make sure that everything runs smoothly. I can't have anything, you know, I can't have people do it, taking advantage of this and that. I just, there's no leniency. It's gotta be straight. Yeah. Now it's my show. Here's the thing. Michael's hung up on this girl, Megan. She runs my front desk. Once I started working here three years ago, we just hit it off immediately. They seem to have this little problem. We dated for a good two and a half years. They're on, they're off. We work together. They're on, they're off. We live together. They're on, they're off. Come here. Obviously, yeah, it's a little difficult. It's hard not to get jealous over certain situations. Now it's perfect. Problems. The most important thing, business come first. Family, you at home. Over here, strictly business. You do what you got to do, yeah. you come back, right. and I take you and I right. put you right back into the seat. I refer to it as, it's the hair mafia. Once you come in, you don't leave. Running a family business is a lot tougher than it looks. We butt heads. What the f***? They get in my business. We do everything together. We work together. We play together. We socialize together. We never do things, just one or two. There's always 20 or 30 of us. But one thing is for sure, they got my back. I'm walking around. I'm seeing a lot of hair on the floor. I'm seeing a lot of towels on the floor, on the, on the stations. The stations are a mess. Yeah. Uh, I keep telling you over and over again, be on top of them, be on top of them, because I can't deal with this. I'm too busy with my own clients. I gotta come back and then I gotta deal with them. I yell at them all day. I know, honestly, I'm about to fire every single one well, of them. Well, I'm telling you, if I gotta walk around one more time, and then I gotta walk through, and even if I just go to the bathroom, I gotta pass by and see a towel at some station, someone's getting fired. We're loyal. There's no BSing around over here. Which enables me to expand my business. We had the opportunity to uh, look at a spot and be in South Beach. I'm really looking forward to South Beach. Miami is hopping. You know, there's a lot more celebrities in Miami and there's just a lot more potential. That's my wife Lillian. She takes care of the back end, the bills, the vendors. Yeah, we need to call them. We have to continuously call them until we get the payment. Pay out the staff. Paying me. I need a big stiff drink right now, please. <laughs> the real hair boss, as some people may call her. I think I'm the real hair boss. Yeah, right. Oh, of course. I let him think he's a hair boss. <laughs> I make a lot more decisions than he does. Okay, is it a morning or afternoon wedding? Um, it's an afternoon. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of that ocean breeze coming in. Right. And with an updo, it tends to drag the hair down a little bit, especially with the breeze coming in. You're going to get a little bit of flyaways, a little bit of frizz, plus humidity from the beach. Did you recommend? Well, that's what we started talking about, maybe just part in the middle, big barrel curls, Large sexy barrel curls. Large barrel curls, sexy curls. I think what Stevie's saying will be perfect. Large barrel curls, sexy hair. No matter which way the wind blows, it's going to have always that perfect shape. Picture shot. perfect. Aside from family, I have to count on my staff, stylists and assistants. And boy, do we have a diverse group. Straight, gay, quiet, and loud. Don't make fucking statistics up that you can't back up with actual facts. Aaron, for example, one of a kind. I met my partner about six years ago um, at a other salon I used to work at. We were introduced through a fellow stylist that I worked with, and I was um, competing for the Mr. Gay Florida pageant, and he was the current Mr. Gay Florida title holder. I'm much more the 
high maintenance. I'm definitely the more energetic of the two of us, that's for sure. It's not uh, a secret that, you know, when we go out, we're not embarrassed to take our shirts off. Rachel, who has been engaged way too many times. I mean, I was in a relationship for five years with someone, you know, and I just ended it. I definitely want to be married with kids, but to the right person. There's nothing wrong with being single. And then there's Carl. He's from Great Britain. That guy's obsessed with his pit bulls and has trouble managing his seemingly diverse group of women that he courts. How can you not love the ladies? But, um, I've always had commitment issues. I had been, you know, just happy hours and golfing and dating and I pretty much stopped all of that and just was trying to be a good uh, daddy doggy or doggy daddy. When you work in this business, between the stylists and the clients, how demanding they are, things can get a little heated. Everybody, you are the worst person for outing somebody, yet you're the first to be like, oh, why is everyone picking on me? I'm you know so what? delicate and angelic. I am. You are vicious. She's vicious. You are vicious. You go for the juggler and you're vindictive. Oh, okay, Aaron, who has these jabs all the time. You jab everyone. You're Just also like, a hypochondriac. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, some people can't control themselves or know when to say when. A lot of it's obviously joking around, but some of it could be hurtful, the things he says, too. Yes, I know you're used to having shit in your mouth, like but don't keep my name in it. He thinks I'm like the serial dater and that I date all these guys, but I really don't. If I'm dating now, I'm like a whore? I know, nobody no, called you a whore! No. You guys are all employing I didn't right say now. you fucking sit over hey, there on the bleachers and let one after the other bang you. you. A lot of times, people get sexy, twisted, with slutty. Baby, you are so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> this group just doesn't work together. We play together. And boy, do things get out of control. What happened last night? Tequila happened last night. No, I'm, I'm having flashbacks still. Seems like they got it made, right? Think again. These demanding clients keep these stylists on their toes. You're doing it wrong. No, wrong brush. This is wrong. That's wrong. Hey, that's why they pay. Top dollar. All right, your toll's gonna be 300 for today. Inside the salon, it's loose, but all business. Because it's my brother and it is my family, I gotta make sure that everything runs smoothly and everything is on perfect for him because he is my brother. I can't have any hiccups. I like to keep everyone on their toes, even my family. It's getting expensive. Where in summertime, it's slow. Mm -hmm. I can't go around just being free with the credit card, just go ahead and do what you want. Right? So do what you need to do, tighten it up a little bit over here, watch with the color, watch with the expenses, watch what they do with everything that they're spending money on. Keep an eye on that. I will. Remember, your eyes, you're my eyes. Absolutely. Keep an eye on everything because what's going to be happening is I'm going to have to start letting some things go around over here because it's too much with the expenses. So just see what you think that we need to do. Keep an eye on everybody and make sure. Because in order for me to open up down in South Beach, I, know. I need the Charol. And the Charol, if we keep going out, we're going to be in trouble. After a long day at work, there's nothing better to come home to than a nice, quiet household. High five. Fist pump. Handshake. All right. Let's go. That's my life as a stylist and hair boss in Palm Beach. Kabish?